Everybody, it's Levi and if you don't know by now the Evolve 2 has ProRes 422 with 10 bit color it's really incredible and I bet it's the first codec that most of you guys are gonna fly with when you get the Evolve 2 but this codec isn't always the go-to for us and it's not even the topic of this video you see ProRes files are big they're very large and take up a lot of space on your CFAS cards, which is why H.264, or even more so H.265, is a nice compromise of quality and file size. If you're a filmmaker where storage space is always at a premium, like a uh, documentary filmmaker maybe, H.264, H.265 is probably the move for you more likely than not. H.265 is the newest codec in the same lineage of H.264, and it actually achieves 64% smaller file sizes while shooting 4K video. Now on the Evolve 2, your H.264 and H.265 codecs give you the ability to choose a bit rate of 100, 150, or 200 megabits per second, which I really love because you get to choose the balance you want between video quality and video file size. So often when shooting these X-Dynamics videos, I like to shoot an H.265, which we have on now, and at a bit rate of 150 megabits per second, because it's that nice middle range. But today we're actually gonna start at 100, and halfway through we're gonna switch all the way up to 200 to see if you guys can notice a difference in the quality, and you can make the decision for yourself which one you think has a higher quality image. And then I always shoot at 4K, at a typically 23.98 frames, sometimes with 60 or 120 frames per second, if it makes sense. Now it's also worth noting on the Evolve 2 and H.264 and H.265, it's recording 8-bit color, and I personally always turn on X-Dynamics log format, it's called X-Log, just so I get that extra dynamic range and the flexibility in post. All right guys, I just got the Evolve 2 ready to go. I'm gonna take off, film a little sequence for you guys to show off this H.264, H.265 codec. And I'm gonna use our typical settings for the shoot. All right guys, that was our H.265 cinematic sequence. I love the footage that this H.265 footage gets, but we do have ProRes 422, 10-bit. It's what you guys are all gonna be wanting to use. And we got a video coming to demonstrate that just next week. So keep your eyes out for that, and I'll see you guys next time.